Good day. My name is Lee Theodore. I'm on the shores of the mighty St. Lawrence River. And honestly, guys, like these waves that are going on back here, I'm telling you, we can get lost. And I don't have all the answers. I'm not a perfect person. Um, I'm challenged to say that I'm a successful person. I'm not a person who can solve even the fundamentals of my life. But I can tell you that with what I'm seeing, what I'm feeling, the losses that people are presenting, the challenges that people are going through, it is not an uncommon feeling to feel lost. And you can feel lost at different parts of your life for different reasons. Young people not having the, um, the breadth of wisdom or the, uh, the depth of history or having lived certain experiences to be able to draw upon getting thrown into this world and told uh, you're an adult now figure it out the things that were available to me are not so much available to you in the same way and then I look at myself I'm young not quite old old not quite young the things that uh, I've strived for have evaded me people that are older than me that are looking down and saying you know what's the future going to hold what is all of this what is the promise what is what is what is it that we've worked for and sacrificed for what does all of this mean I don't have the answers and the feeling of feeling lost is um, it's a compressed gravity because even as you're feeling lost if you have the opportunity you're lucky enough then you can wake up every single day and still go to work and maintain the main functions of your life but even as you're maintaining those functions of your life you can feel the crippling effect and it doesn't feel fair it won't feel fair because you're comparing it because you're looking at someone else something else and saying well if that is there and I'm here then what's wrong with me Everybody's going to go through this. Even the people that have all the answers are lost to. In order to, <laughs> in order to be found, or to find your way, you have to. You got to venture, and to venture means you're leaving a place of orientation, of familiarity, to find yourself in a in a place of the unknown. If you're lucky enough, you've made the right choices. That unknown place becomes your pasture of peace the thing that you've been working so hard for to get to it's like graduation it's like your your final your final report assignment what have you 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 turn it in and you believe that that's the best that you can do and you, you look for the grade and lucky enough you graduate feeling lost is like floating in space feeling lost excuse me Feeling lost is like floating in space. I don't know what floating in space feels like, but I can tell you that there's no ceiling above me, there's no ground beneath me, there's no no framework of understanding. Things that once resembled something that you could touch, can't be touched, just out of your reach. <laughs> I know the feeling of feeling lost. To have everything, to be somebody and have nothing. And it's like, what are you holding on to? When you're young, idealism is uh, it's a beautiful energy force because uh, it allows you to escape into your dreams. As you get older, you realize that your dreams are <laughs> buoyed by your reality. And uh, if your reality doesn't have enough in it to be the foundation of your dreams, it's, it's just whimsical. And this idea of being lost, uh, your dreams fail you at a certain age <laughs> because they don't pay the bills, right? And and the weirdest thing is I'm pausing in between because this is a, a busy enough bike path. We've got people coming through. I don't know if you can see the guy behind me. Uh, where is he? Right there. And so I'm sitting here, I'm doing this video about being lost. This chap walks by and he's playing compa. He's playing some national Haitian music. And I know he's new to the community. And so I say hello to him, he says hello to me, and we have a moment, you know, and it's lost. Even as you're lost, things will present themselves to you to remind you that you're either found or you found something. 
or you are something that has been found. Life's got this weird way of um, being both meaningful and meaningless. It doesn't happen to everybody the same way. Some people are lucky and, and I'm happy for you and you're that person. Some of us, most of us, are just trying to make it through with what we've got. So I encourage you along the way to help point people and let them know that they're in familiar territory. They're not as lost as they think they are. Those small gifts of humanity really, really go a long way. <sighs> Give to others what has been taken from you. If you're feeling this way, then by doing so, you're, you're helping to change or erase the circumstances that created your circumstances. And hopefully along the way, you get to where you're supposed to be, but along the way, you're not harming more people. Lost. <laughs> Something I've been meditating on is, uh, I'm broke, not broken. But man, there's some days where it's just, you're inside out, you're inside out, you're inside out. Do you know what it's like to have like a, a, a fat lip, right? The air gets on it, it hurts, you know what I mean? You, you, everything is sensitive. And so imagine if your whole inside is out, everything is just, you're just a raw nerve. And it's so hard to not succumb to your lesser self or hard not to emote your grievance or not hard to pass on your agony. I just want to tell you that you're not alone. You don't need me to tell you that. Maybe you do. Maybe you do. But it's worth knowing that the things that you're going through, you're not alone. I said this advice to a a young person I've seen recently and I said there's nothing in your life that is happening to you that is going to be longer than your life there are no problems that you're going to be facing that are going to be longer than what your life is worth and so I'm asking you to hang in there I'm asking you to orientate yourself with not your dreams what's important to you yes you're lost today but today is just one day out of the many calendar days that exist before you yes you have got calendar days behind you that you're probably responsible for and I recognize that it's a lot of work a lot of work to move yourself into the future. But what else is there? What else are you going to do? Are you more determined by your solutions or are you more determined by your pain and your problems? To be lost means to be... You're not moving towards something. What would you like to move towards? What is the joy in your heart, in your dreams, in your life, the reality? I can tell you, you go watch a Rocky movie. <laughs> Overcoming the challenges and getting into that victory space. Things are important, you're important. Don't be lost for long, be you.